Hey everyone, I got an exciting show for you today. I have someone I've been following in Fresno for a while. He's putting out a lot of good stuff on social media and he's really executing in the business. So let's welcome James Whitehead Jr. to the show. How you doing, James? I'm doing good. How about you, Michael? I'm doing very well. Uh, why don't you just quickly uh, introduce yourself, what you do in this crazy world of real estate and uh, see what's going on. Well, um, I, you know, People call it wholesaling, but I also call myself a real estate investor. Yeah. Um, but, you know, the people that know, they know exactly what we do. But um, <clears throat> that's what I do. Um, essentially, it's a gateway for me to maybe uh, tap into doing other things. This is something for me just to get my feet wet and to um, gain experience, knowledge, and, you know, learn everything that I need to learn. Um so I can move on to the next level in real right. estate. Um, it's, you know, I know there's a lot of successful wholesalers or investors that do this and do this. This is all they want to do. But um, as for me, I want to, you know, go, go past and um, push my limits and see how far I can take it. Yeah. Um, and I see that in you. Uh, and there's nothing wrong with calling yourself a wholesaler. I mean, you, it, you know, lots of people start there. It's a way you can get in for very little capital, uh, but it's still, uh, it's still hard to do, right? If you have the capital, it's a lot easier to be a buy and hold person, right? Yeah, you're, yeah, definitely. Yeah, you're in the throes of it. You're doing, you're doing the work. So, uh, you know, how long you've been doing it? Uh, kind of document, uh, you know, where you're at in this this journey of yours. Um, I've only actually been doing it for um, almost a year, um, right. and you know. I first started learning about it, uh, social media, YouTube and stuff. I really just ran across it. And, um, I was driving trucks before that, um, commercial trucks. Yeah. So, um, I've also had like, I've always had like a, uh, entrepreneur mind. I've always wanted to work for myself. I've always been smart. Um, but so when I ran across this, you know, um, I told my girlfriend, look, uh, I want to do this and I'm just going to jump right into it. Okay. So, um, I did that and, uh, I learned a little bit and as much as I can, I was watching videos probably all day, every day <laughs> in the car, nonstop, like right. people were getting annoyed with me and that's right. all I was doing, but I was, I was hungry. So, um, okay. probably about, um, about three weeks into it, I got my first deal. Oh, three wow. weeks of me learning yeah um which was crazy um because i actually found the deal off zillow for sell by owner okay and you know uh probably every wholesaler in fresno was on that too um i don't know what it was because when i went to this man's house he probably had 50 postcards in his house already yeah. and um other things you know um so i don't know what it was about me that made him give me the deal because I got the deal probably like 70,000 less than what he was asking for on Zillow. So um, just when he signed that contract and, and uh, it just gave me this type of joy that I've probably never felt before. And I was happy. <laughs> and um, actually how it worked, I was like, Hey man, you know, can, can we, can we get this a little lower? Um, blah, blah, blah. And he um, actually was like, well, well, how much James? Um, like, well, look, man, you know, there is a little, you know, we got to do the backyard. I know you got a nice house. His mom died. So that's what it was. Yeah. Um, but actually it all worked out because, uh, I got the price I wanted. I told him, Hey, if you can meet me at this price, you know, I'll buy you a pack of beer and we could sit down and drink a beer together. And it, that's exactly what we did. Nice. Well, that's, that's amazing. Uh, so let's, let's break this down a little bit, right? So you, you, you're on YouTube university, you see this thing called wholesaling, you see the checks. It seems I don't know. Easy, maybe. I don't know. Yeah. It seemed that way, right? It seems easy. Yes. Yeah. It, it's kind of easy to put together, right? Find a motivated seller, get a good price, find a cash buyer. You make the spread, right? Called the assignment fee. Kind of makes sense to people, right? Yeah. And then you, lo and behold, go out and do, you find your first deal three weeks in. You know now that that's not normal, right? You, you that know. is not normal at <laughs> all. Um, and, I, and, I, and I really am happy to uh, have gotten it that fast because. Um, I, I see a lot of these people, they, they're working for months and months and you know, they, they just haven't closed the deal. And it's like, I don't know if I got lucky or I was just eager well, to find a deal. 
I don't know what it I, was, but yeah. Well, let, let, <laughs> let me answer that for you. you. You can be as humble as you want. That's all good. I'll, I'll do a humble brag. Um, you, I, I hate that word luck in investing. I, I hear yeah. it all the time when people throw it on me. Oh, you were lucky to buy before the crash. You're lucky to buy after the crash. I mean, come on. I was yeah. in the market every day for 10 years. You want to call that luck? Go ahead. Yeah. So <laughs> you were doing the work. You were, you were getting educated. But more importantly, you were not just getting educated. There are probably lots of people out there that watch so many videos. People get annoyed with them, just like you highlighted. But yeah. then you executed, right? How'd you yeah. know to go to Zillow? Well, some one of your videos said go to Zillow and look for, for sale by owner. You did yeah. that. Then you found one. Then you went and talked to the guy. And at the end of the day, this is not about the postcard, not about the text, not about ringless voicemails. It is about belly to belly human conversations. And you did that. And you deserve credit for that. Don't you dare call it luck. Yeah. Uh, I'm not going to let you get away with that. So uh, we haven't talked about numbers yet. So you got the price you wanted. Uh, how long did it take you to find a buyer? Um, I actually, um, I was new. So yeah. I, didn't, I didn't know um, the difference between a, uh, a wholesaler and a true cash buyer. Ah, okay. Well, you were really new. <laughs> so, oh, I was three weeks in, man. Yeah. <laughs> so I didn't know the I didn't know the the um, the signs of a wholesaler or a true cash buyer. Um, mm -hmm. But actually, it ended up working out good um, because I uh, partnered up with another wholesaler, and okay. um, he had a he had a cash buyer. He had a lot of cash buyers interested. Um, yeah. So I guess the numbers were the ARV was two, uh, about 205. Okay. Um, he posted the house around 190 something. Okay. And I just said, let me give it a shot. And I texted him. Oh, actually we talked and he said he would call me back. Um, mm -hmm. <clears throat> I asked if we could get it at uh, 155. Okay. He said, um, okay, James, well, we talked on the phone and we, I think we built a good enough rapport to where I trusted that he was going to call me back and at least let me know that right. if it's a yes or a no, mm -hmm. we don't like maybes. It's a yes or no. We don't yeah. want to sit there and wait. Well, I maybe got this deal coming, right, you know? Right. Yeah. Um, so I texted him the next day and followed up with him. And one thing that I've learned is following up is a big thing because you could either lose a deal or you know, get a deal from following up. And, um, so I followed up with this guy, I texted him and, uh, I said, Hey, uh, I talked to you yesterday. Um, how are you doing today? Did you ever think about what we talked about yesterday? And he said, yes, James, you know, 155 sounds good. I'll have my stuff cleaned out within two weeks. I was like, Oh, okay. Nice. Um, can I, can I come see the property? And, um, so we set that up and then we, when we met in person, it was just even more rapport building and, yeah. um, two different type of people, but we still connected. And, um, you know, I became his friend before we did business and that's yeah. kind of like how I like to do it. Yeah. Um, so that he's comfortable with me. So once he was a little more comfortable with me, um, you know, I asked him, Hey, look, can we, can we get this at a lower price? Um, you know, the house is really, really nice. Like it was really nice. It really probably needed no really repairs. Um, but we did, uh, get like a $10,000 reduction. I okay. think I got it at 145 after okay. that. All right. And I already had brought the paperwork. I already knew yeah. that I was going to, I printed two. I did one for 155 and 145, but I knew I was going to get it for 145. Nice. So just in case I brought that other backup one. There you um, go. But so he said yes, and um, he signed the papers, and just that feeling right there, yeah. like I was going off the walls. I was calling my girlfriend, everyone. Oh, I just got a deal. Someone signed, and <laughs> I didn't really know what to do next after that. I mean, I did, but um, yeah. In that's theory, when, yeah, you're three weeks in. In theory, <laughs> you know what to do. So you partner up with another wholesaler. What does uh, what does he sell it at? He or she, right? What what do they sell it at? <clears throat> so me. Man, this this really bites me too because uh, okay. this wholesaler. Uh, I I don't want to say any names, but no, um, no, we well, don't need to do that. Uh, this wholesaler probably sold it for fifteen thousand more or twenty thousand more. Um, okay. I told the wholesaler I only wanted this much. Ah, instead of the we 50, didn't JB it. Yeah, instead of the 50-50 split, you said See, I want I five grand really, or whatever. I didn't really know what JVing was fully yet. <clears throat> so well, me, you know, yeah, 
So you made five grand, whatever it is, when mm-hmm. you could have made 15 grand. 25 grand. <laughs> oh, damn. All right. Well, let others hear. If you find a deal, you're early in the business, you find your first deal. It's got meat on the bone. Partnering with somebody with a cash buyer's list is absolutely a good idea because you don't want to lose the deal. You only get paid when you sell it. Um, but there is a big difference between joint venture, meaning 50-50. And I frankly think you deserve 50% for finding it. That's the hardest. Oh, yes. That's the hardest. Don't go to a wholesaler and say, you know what? I only want five grand. Get, get whatever else you want because you're about to get hammered, uh, as James highlights there. They, they'll take advantage of, of you. And frankly, you told them to. So don't do that. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, and I know I did get took advantage of, and I, I really don't really want to say it like that because I'm pretty sure if I asked, hey, let's JV, they would probably do it because I could oh, do it with anyone else. Um, yeah, they, they would have, but you didn't ask for that. <coughs> they, you know, shame on them for not – anyway. They said, hey, James, you only want five grand? Cool, no problem. Yeah, exactly. They just said yes. Yes, sir. Yeah. Yes, sir. So, Here you go. There you go. All right, so uh, you're three weeks in. I, 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 I'm almost nervous to ask this question. How long between your first and your second deal? See, that was rough. Ah, there we go. Now reality sets in. (laughs) See, that was rough. I thought when I got my first deal, I'm like, man, this ball is going to be rolling three weeks. That's it. Man, if I could get four or five deals a month, I'll be rich. (laughs) (laughs) Well, that's natural. I get it. All right. Um, So, yeah, it probably was another, um, hell, man, two months. And and the bills were piling up, and I was like, should I get back in, on the road? or do you do? And, man, I just told myself I can't do it. You know, um, <clears throat> I, can't, I can't give up. I can't go back to my old lifestyle. Um, mm-hmm. So, you know, um, it, it was about two months, yeah. Yeah, well, I mean, I was frankly hoping that was the answer. Otherwise, you just got the minus, minus touch, right? Yeah. Reality's got to set in. You've got to struggle to enjoy the upside. Um, mm-hmm. So, okay, so you're – you get your first deal, you're happy with it, but realize you could have made more. You go after it because the second one will be just as easy. You go eight, nine, ten weeks without another deal. Bills are piling up. Reality is setting in. A little bit of self doubt. Mm-hmm. Um, you know what? How how'd you get through it? You just did you just believe? Did you watch more YouTube videos? I mean, how did you, how did you recuperate that belief? Because that's that's what this business is about: is remaining confident in the face of adversity. Well, um, and, and, and it is hard when you get your first deal and after weeks and weeks, it's hard to keep that motivation, that drive, you know, you have to want it. You have to, uh, really keep that, that flame built up inside of you Yeah. because, because it's really easy for someone to just say, you know what, forget this. I'm going to go to get this nine to five, this for sure money, you know? So, um, I just, I just toughed it out, man. And I just, Every day I just wake up, I, I'm calling people, I'm looking, I'm looking on everything. I don't care what it is. It's rare to find deals on Craigslist or Zillow, but they're there sometimes. Take yeah. it from my first deal. Yeah. But, um, you know, so I was doing that every morning, doing what I could do. And um, <clears throat> cool. my second deal actually uh, was someone that I talked to on Craigslist and okay. I told her a price, but she wasn't having it. I told her, call me back later. And she actually did call me back later. So yeah. um, that's how it really worked out. Yeah. Again, back to your earlier point, right? The, the key to this, the key to sales, uh, whether it's this business or others is in the follow-up. You so rarely sell on the first meeting. Yeah. The first contact, whatever you want yeah. to call that. You know, there, there's all these metrics out there. It takes six contacts or whatever it is. Just know it's not the first. And, and get off your butt and, and make follow up. So uh, how many hours a day do you say you spend on your business looking for deals or whatever as of today? Um, as of today, uh, it would be an all day thing. Yeah. I do take breaks here and there, but I'm constantly but just. Yeah. People need to hear it. that. People need to hear that. They think, I, I don't know what it is. People think it, wholesaling is like a, you know, a 60 minute thing. You do it from, you know, new 12 I mean, to one and, you know, eight seven yeah. eight it's it's not that it's 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 a real job it is a real job but um you can do that oh i'm just gonna cold call for four hours today yeah you could do that and and i i see a lot of people with success and you know we can get into these wholesalers that have their vas and their yeah. acquisition managers and all their two hundred thousand a month for overhead and, <laughs> you know stuff like that scares me scares me <laughs> but but for me i feel like um 
I just, I do it throughout the day, all day. Mm -hmm. I don't just sit there for 12 hours and just sit at my desk. No, I mean, yeah, yeah. I do what I have to do during the day, but all day I'm doing it. That's awesome. Um, that, and that's what the, that's the answer I was hoping for. So, so how, how did we finish up 2019? How many transactions and, and what was the gross uh, assignment fees? You remember? Um, it was um, about, I'd say f five transactions okay so five transactions and your uh -huh. assignment fees were 50 grand um they were 39 okay and, and this was only a few months in right all right so that's not bad so it's 8k 8k <coughs> average right five divided by 39 roughly 8k mm -hmm. uh, mm -hmm. i have no idea what a commercial trucker makes what what would you make driving trucks for that long uh not that much i was gonna you say know, yes, I, right i feel like the average guy makes probably about um I don't know, 52, 60, yeah. 52,000. I mean, it's better than your average job, you yeah. know, Walmart or whatever. Um, right. No, no, I'm, I'm not, don't take my question as. Oh, no, I'm down. not. I, no, I, that's not what I meant. <laughs> what I was trying to get to is um, you did eight or no, five trend, eight, no, eight transaction. Five, no, five. five transactions. Sorry. Five transactions, 8K. Got it. I confused myself. Five transactions, 8K each, 39 grand total. Uh, but that's, meaningful that's life-changing for you right now you, you you can do bigger and better things yeah um you know and and just with this uh the the things that i know now and um just the knowledge i have is worth more than any of it because i know that um it's something that i want to do i've always had something that um you know i i drove trucks whatever i thought that was going to be my passion my career whatever no it was never yeah. that and once I found this and I got my first deal, it just, it just gave me like a high I've never had before. Yeah. It's awesome. And so then I knew I was like, man, this is it. Like, this is it. I love being able to work for myself and talking to people. And I just love the whole process, everything about it. And, awesome. um, so, so this is just the beginning for me still. Um, mm -hmm. Yeah. I'm looking into doing a whole lot more as you're probably sure. Um, oh yeah. I, I watch you. It's, it, I, I look forward to being put on that buyer's list and, and doing some deals together in 2020. Uh, yeah. Let, let's, let's go back and pretend you are talking to you when you're in YouTube university. Does that make sense? Right. Mm -hmm. What would you want to hear? Right. So before first deal, before you start calling anybody, what are some things that you would want somebody who's done five deals now tell you? What would you, what would, how would you speak to yourself if that makes sense? How would I speak to myself? Oh man, you asked some good questions. Um, well, <laughs> I really would want to know, um, uh, you know, cause online YouTube university, they do make it seem like it is easy. Okay. I, I really would want to know, um, really what these people are doing daily. Um, Okay. How many hours? I want to know everything. I want to know how many hours they're putting in. I want to know well, how much did they make and stuff like that. Um, the things that I did see actually was um, a lot of what I wanted to hear. I actually was watching a guy that was real, real raw, real. He just, he just let it out. And, you know, he even told you, look, man, you're not always going to get your first deal that fast. Um, and I told myself, well, I am. <laughs> I like it. <laughs> <laughs> and uh, I just had no choice. And I, I quit my job. Like, after I found out about, I literally quit my job not knowing what I was going to do if this was even going to work for me. So I think YouTube uh, was, was a game changer for me. And I think I actually heard the things I wanted to hear. Um, but I probably would want to hear um, more about. Um, how long it's going to take to get your next deal, you know, after yeah. your first deal okay. and the struggles and, um, also like the JVing and how you can get, um, took advantage of so easily if, if you're a new guy, um, okay. that's, that's, that's probably something I would wanted to hear. I probably would have changed a few things. Um, so let, me, I'm, let me see if I can summarize them just so people, a new person watching this that hasn't done it yet. First off, uh, as somebody who finds a deal, uh, you should approach another wholesaler and offer a joint venture. Joint venture simply yeah. means you both are going to split the profit 50, 50. Yeah. Don't make the mistake of going, Hey, I only want five grand. I'm so excited to get this blah, blah, blah. Cause they're going to make 40 grand or whatever. Yeah. It is, right. 
So joint venture, understand what that is. If you don't know, type it in, research it, watch videos on joint venture. Um, uh, uh, time between deals, right? Just because you get one deal, whether it's three weeks or three months, does not mean the second deal is going to come in that same window, right? Yeah. Okay. Correct. Uh, this is an all. This this is a job, right? You've chosen to be an entrepreneur. You can call yourself the CEO, the president, the chairman, whatever the heck you want. Uh, but you are going to be spending considerable hours a day doing this, looking at all different sources uh, and leveraging all different things. Yeah. 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 And then finally, the, you know, you're making your money uh, in the follow up. And I believe relationships over transactions called belly to belly, whatever you want to call that. Uh, that's yes. where the real money is made. It's not made with texting. It's not made with postcards. It's n none of that stuff matters if you're not good in front of people. Would you agree with all that? I would agree with that. Um, you know, because I've tried to help other people learn and they are just not good with people or on the phone or, yeah. and you really have to have to get out of that mindset and just do that because um if not it's it's really hard you do have to be a people person yeah and you got that down i, I respect you for that so let's talk about 2020 where's where uh where's james taking 2020 man what are the what are the big scary goals the big scary goals are for me to make 150,000 this year oh, i like it I like um it. I don't care what it's going to take. I seen some guy uh, that I talked to. He's another wholesaler. Um, and what he did was wrote himself a check for 150,000 and put it on his wall. And it, it kind of gives you the motivation to say, this is my check, but I can't cash it yet until I yes. uh, get this certain amount of deals or this much, you know what I mean? So yeah, yeah. I'd seen something like that and I was like, Oh wow, that's really a good idea. Um, yeah. So that's, that's my goal. Um, nice. And my other goal is to maybe start doing some other things, not just wholesaling. Um, since I've started wholesaling, I've had people throw, oh, well, I can fund your deals this much, 100% and this and that. And, yeah. you know, um, so I'm, I'm looking to uh, really grow and build a, build a better team. That's awesome. Um, yeah. So one thing I would tell you as a legacy sales guy who had just big, scary quotas, you know, like that 150 K probably feels is you need to step back and break it down. Right. So, I mean, for example, right. 150 K <clears throat> means 10 assignment fees, averaging 50 K 10 assignment fees means I need to make, uh, I need to get 30 offers accepted because some fall out due to title reasons in order to get 30 offers accepted. I need to make 200 offers in order to make 200 offers and you need to have 400 appointments or whatever that breakdown is. Yeah. And you need to track that stuff weekly. Yeah. I mean, weekly, if not daily, because yeah. otherwise it'll be March. You'll be sitting at eight grand to be like, well, that 150 K is out the window. Cause I can't get there. So you need to hold yeah. yourself accountable to weekly targets. Mm -hmm. And um, if you need help on that, reach out, I'll, I'll help you break that down. But uh, I like what you're doing, man. It's a lot of fun. Yeah. Um, I, I'm excited for this year. I don't know. Um, some days, some days I just wake up pumped up, like for no reason. And I'm oh, just like, that's awesome. I just, I just wake up like in a really good mood. Like, Oh my gosh, this is going to be a crazy year. And yeah. I, I could just feel it. Um, so I'm looking to really, um, uh, upgrade my whole operation and cool. just do things in a way to where everything is just flowing nicely. And I'm not going to get stressed out because I know things are going to, things go. are going to happen this year well very cool james how can people reach out follow you ask questions just watch your journey uh social media presence where, where are you at um i'm on facebook james whitehead jr and then you know you can um i'm gonna start a um uh, instagram soon okay maybe just um uh, i don't have that yet but i have a uh, email it's next day property at gmail.com very cool. Well, James, thank you very much for getting up early doing this with me. I am very excited for your year. Uh, look forward to helping you get to that 150 goal and, and beyond, man. Thank you. For, thank you very yeah. much. All right. Thank you, Michael. All right. Take care.